Hey guys, it's me Carrie, and I really, really, really don't feel like being on camera today, so forgive me. Just one of those days, one of those many, many days. But anyway, this is my Brat Box unboxing for January of 2023. First new box of the new year, very exciting. This is, I believe, my eighth in all, but it might be my ninth. I always get screwed up. We're just going to open it this way today. We're going to just dive in together and do it in a different style. So this little envelope here contains the artist cards. There are usually three different artists represented in each box. Actually, no, it could be four. I think they usually send you an artist card for whoever's pins you get. And there's two different options of how you can do your, your subscription. I was going to say prescription. Your subscription, you can do three pins and a patch Sorry, guys. So, yeah, you can do um, three pins and a patch and a sticker. And that is the plan that my friend Billy, my dear beloved heart sister, sister from another Mr. Billy, um, gifted me a year of this subscription, which has been so freaking much fun. And she chose the three pin, one patch option because she knows I do like to collect both and the sticker. So normally I get three artist cards. But there may be four this time around because this is one of the, I believe they call it like fan favorites or something packs. And you get a bonus pin for free. So that's pretty cool. So we do, we have one, two, three, four. Okay, so we'll do the artist cards at the end. Here is our patch, first of all, which is obsessed with always hangry that is so stinking cute i love that love 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 all right the second item we have here this is a sticker and it says what does it say on it i have to take my glasses off i can't read it bat in your belfry so that is the name of the insta uh instagram that is the instagram website for this person <laughs> this artist. I'm really out of it today. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really tired, too. I really like this, though. I like that, like, the roots of the flower are growing. And, like, you know, I don't know. I just think that's rad. So that's really cool, too. And then we have our four pins. So the first one that caught my eye was this one over here. This must have been from an outer space themed box, I would imagine not of this world cosmic things it is very cool let me get it out of the plastic so we can see it a little better it's not what i would typically like choose from a store but it's a rad pen it's actually really really cool so i do like it it's just not my personal style i'm a very kawaii cutesy pastel kind of girl typically and horror but that is really cute. This is really cute, too. I definitely love the color scheme on this one. I love that it says bye. <laughs> like, if you're this close to my gun, I will be zapping you with it. And this one's by Band of Weirdos. This one was by, let's see, nerdpins.net. I think that's nerdpins. We will read on the cards afterwards. But I, um, I like this one better. But I like this one as well. And then two more. We have this one here by Riddle and Jinx. Let me get it out of the plastic so we can see better. Ooh, it's crinkly plastic. Crinkly, crinkly plastic. And this one is... Okay, let me see what this says on it. Protect our wild places. That is beautiful. There's a crescent moon on there. There's a birdie. Is that a butterfly? No, those are like, is that supposed to be like a lotus? I think it might be. Oh, yeah, you got to look at it from the different angles to get like the duochrome nature of some of these colors. They look almost duochrome with the purples and the blues. That's beautiful. That's really, really pretty. I like that one. Rewild your world. I like that. Very cool. I wonder if there's seeds in here. Are there seeds in here? There might be seeds in here. I bought a necklace once and it came with a piece of cardboard like this. And if you wet it, there were actually seeds inside. I think that might be. <gasps> there are. There's seeds in there. Oh, I love that. Very, very, very cool. 
And then last, but certainly not least, we have this pin. This is by Floorbat. And this one is a little robot with flowers. Oh, that's cute. Now, I personally happen to be a huge fan of Mystery Science Theater 3000. So I have a special spot in my heart for robot friends. This robot is absolutely adorable and would totally chill with Tom and Crow and Gypsy and Cambot. I think this is absolutely sweet and precious and I love it. So overall, I am quite pleased with this box. I'll just line these guys up in some sort of order. So there's the four pins again. And then there was our sticker. And then there was our patch. So you get all of those super rad items. And then you get these little cards for each one. So I'll just show you the card and then I'll read it to you. Well, actually, yeah, I'll read it to you. I'll show you the back to you. You could also read it yourself. But um, so this is the creator of Band of Weirdos. Band of Weirdos made the ray gun. And this is I don't know if it's JC or Jackie. It could be Jackie, but I'm going to go with JC. JC Anderson Covert, the creator of Band of Weirdos. And here's the back. She's based out of Cincinnati. Actually, I'm not going to read these two because you can totally pause and read them yourself. But definitely go to at Band of Weirdos on Insta if you want to check out her shop. Okay, you can obviously pause, so I don't have to hold it for that long. <laughs> then we have at Nerd Pins by Joe Van Dyke. Nerdpins.net is the website. And also probably the Insta at Nerd Pins is the Insta page. And you can read about Nerd Pins. So Florida dude living in LA now. That's pretty cool. I will read these later off camera. Then we have the third. This is Kate Stewart, the owner and designer at Starcatcher Studio. Starcatcher Studio was... Which one was Starcatcher Studio? Oh, okay. Floorbat. Okay. The Instagram is Starcatcher Studio. So that is that beautiful robot pin. This is a cool card, too. I love the kitty. And here you can read more about Kate, who is based in North Canton, Ohio. And Starcatcher Studio, Starcatcher underscore studio. Check that out on the bottom if you want to follow on Insta. Make sure you put the underscore in there. And you can pause and read and check this out. I hope this is all clear enough that you can read it. And then last, oh, we have two more cards. So we got one for Riddle and Jinx too, which is, Riddle and, no wait, Riddle and Jinx was this pen here. And Riddle and Jinx is created by Emily Lopuch. I'm assuming I pronounced that right. I'm, I'm going to go with like it rhymes with much and such. So we're going to go with Emily Lopuch. I hope that's correct. If it's not, I apologize, Emily. And she is based in Burnt Hills, New York. Where is Burnt Hills? I have never heard of Burnt Hills. I'm wondering if it's upstate somewhere. I live on Long Island and I've never heard of this town before. Yeah, feel free, again, to pause this and read. And she's at Riddle and Jinx on Insta. And then last but not least, we have Fred Lanthier, or Lanthier, who is an illustrator and designer. And I know I've seen Fred's work in past boxes. Let's see. This is the featured... Okay, these are all featured artists. So I wonder which item was created by Fred. If it was the patch or the sticker. Probably the patch, I'm guessing. I'm not really sure, though. Hmm. Maybe somebody else who gets Bratbox can let me know if that card is for the sticker designer or the patch designer. But I'm quite happy with this box. I have loved having this subscription. It's something that I really would be devastated to like not get in the mail anymore so I'm gonna have to like, seriously consider renewing and working out a way to uh, get this again for the year but um, I'm not through yet though the first box I got was last April so I should still be getting um, at least February and March so yeah this is probably god could this be my 10th box then this would have to be my 10th box Oh my gosh, I'm almost done. Oh, that's so sad. 
Yeah, because that means 11 will come in February and 12 will come in March. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I don't want to think about that. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you, Billy, as always, for your incredible generosity and thoughtfulness. And I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye, guys.